Uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to my another playlist where I will be talking about TypeScript in depth that how we can uh, do the type safety of our JavaScript code uh, with the help of TypeScript. So we'll talk about the TypeScript 3.0, uh, what are the, whatever the, the latest feature we have currently. So TypeScript is open source programming language. It's, I will not call it as a programming language. It is something which is built on top of JavaScript. It is a superset of JavaScript to add the type safety of the language. You know that JavaScript is not type safe. Whatever you are declaring as a war or lack, you can replace that and you can reassign them to some another primitive type. So TypeScript is just adding those kind of type safety. You can constrain that method should return only string or uh, particular types would only be of type string so you cannot reassign then that variable to something else all these kind of uh, type safety you can have for your production level application which is complex so if you are using typescript means you are having the type safe code right because if you talk about java uh, c sharp or any other dot net technologies they are having these kind of type safety uh, in the programming language so TypeScript is just adding those type safety checks in uh, JavaScript. So, you know, ES5 is there, then ES6, and then TypeScript is a superset of it. And right now we are dealing with the 3.0 version of TypeScript. So getting started with the TypeScript is very easy. You just need to have a VS code as an editor. And for TypeScript, you already have the Node.js installed. So you can just do npm install minus Z uh, TypeScript, right? And TypeScript is a, actually a compiler, which is compiling the TypeScript files into the JavaScript code that can be read by the browser. So whatever the application we are going to write, either Angular application with TypeScript, Node with the TypeScript, React with the, with the TypeScript, we need the compiled output in JavaScript. So TypeScript is giving this TSC compiler, which compiles uh, the JavaScript uh, TypeScript files into the JavaScript files. And after that, you will be able to read that code. So first example, we will just talk about, okay, how we are actually adding, adding the type safety uh, in a function or in a variable. So this is a normal function, greater is a function. And uh, we are just creating a new variable user and just appending that in the inner HTML. How can we add the type safety here? So now in this greater function, which is rewritten with the help of TypeScript, I'm saying, the the past argument in the greater is of type string and this function itself will return only a string. So if you are not doing and not following these semantics, then you will get a compiler error. Okay, that this function should return a string. Okay, that we will all, that we will take a look uh, in VS code. So we will take a look uh, on how we can install the TypeScript, how to just get started with it, how to configure the, the TypeScript compiler option, which is a TS config which actually is dealing, which actually is deciding that how to compile TypeScript code into the JavaScript code because we have the TS config, which is having compiler options, which is saying, okay, compile this TypeScript code into the JavaScript in this way, in this module pattern. Okay, we will talk about that in the coming week sessions. 